These are four programs in the city of Los Angeles to be three, but now we're livability. Livability is, is the care and operation of um, unsheltered population. How you sanitize, how you give them bathroom and shower in. That's been a whole big division in the city of Los Angeles that we have to take care of in a, in a, in a logical, humane way. So uh, livability is our, is our newest program. Our, 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 we got 3,500 people, and our budget is about over a billion dollars just in LA San Next slide. This is what we're going to learn today. How to plan to develop new leadership in P22 as a principal. We have a new program, P2 Champions. And how to use change management theory of principles to save the P2 change, champion leadership and development program. Well, this is not out of a textbook. This is actual way I did it, live. So some of my theories probably don't go along when you read a textbook about change. This is you get an actual case study that you can use when you go back to your organization. Next slide. Here's some of the challenges the city plays. We all face these. There's going to be more plastic in the ocean than fish. 2050. We're living a scarce for water in the city of Los Angeles. Some of you don't think that water is scarce in Los Angeles. Of course, it is overwhelmed with waste. So we live in a linear economy, take, make, and waste. And we see it showing. So we got some things to drive this in our legislation like the 20, 1353, is that it, Jennifer? Um, yeah, 1383, 75% of our land has been reserved. And we got 25 years, years left on our landfill still. Next slide. This is the toughest thing to change individual culture. It's just hard to change our own culture, our own habits, the way we live. Very tough. Most people don't take them on. Very hard to change. Human beings are, are creatures of practices. If it's working, don't fix it, don't get better. It's tough to change culture and individual. But one thing I want to say, when you take a bark of a change, there's three things you should do. Number one, have a clear sense of how you're going to change. Have that clear, have it written out. If it's not clear, get clear as you go. But try to begin with clear. Share that change with other people. Share the change with the outside person. Share the change. See, this is what I'm working on. We all have input. The last thing is make sure you monitor, have somebody monitor how you're going to change. Those three things you might come out with, with how, how to change your individual culture. But if you don't have that, you don't have a clear expectation of where you're going, if you don't share it, if you don't have somebody monitoring it, usually change is not going to work. That's why I so in my division, all these things occur. We did have conflicts between our inspectors and engineers. We have about 80 inspectors, about 30 engineers, and that's who ran the show. The engineers ran everything. So you know, if I was inspector, I'd be kind of confused there. We do all this work and everything, but the engineers are all in charge. Engineers do, you know, we get the promotions, not the inspectors. There's a clear path of promotion from engineer to the director, not the flying for inspector. So we had a lot of conflicts in our division, this over that, but over everything, who controlled the facilities. Everything was a fight, everything. And um, the overall morale division wasn't that great. The perception of our current state was bad. We do a scan and ask people opinion. It was bad. Who, who said this message would change? Everybody was. We always perceived that we didn't change. Next slide. Now this is, a, this is a key slide here I really want to spend a little time on. These are things how, if you're in the P2 field, and uh, you take all your leadership training, you really already have it inside you. P2, you have to do strategic thinking. Guess what? You always seek that in leadership training. Leadership style, you got to define your leadership style. You got that in P2. System thinking, now this is where you, where you have uh, overabundance of other people. We always think of systems. When you look at the system, we do switch control analysis. Leaders are now becoming more aware of system thinking. That's very important for leaders. Communication, of course, you know that's important. Negotiations, getting the idea of just for them to adopt the P2 chain does take negotiation. You got to talk about the payback, how they're going to clean their effective public, the health of employees. So you have to sell the negotiation. Of course, you deliver projects. Uh, uh, management and delivery system. You have to deliver new products and make the change. This is all what you guys have that you bring to the table. So you guys already have 
teach your people and really have hit leadership talents that just need to be brought out. So P2 can be used to develop the leadership. You got key leadership skills that you go to leadership training, this is what they're gonna teach you. Your style, your thinking, uh, communication, negotiation, and the project management skills. Some people call it soft skills, soft and hard skills. Next slide, please. This shows how the change is aligned with the uh, organizational objectives. Main thing here is the chief business objective, building high morale, and collaboration with industry. Next slide, please. And this is a big slide. This is how it happened in LA San Design Division. Here's our delivery chain. We have concept, design, procurement, implementation, after action. This is how the change went. First, I had to make people aware that we need to change. We had to develop a desire to change. We have to accept the desire to change. Now, this is the, this is the one here. Oh, what's, what's going on? Oh, God. It's, it's going. So anyway, right here, this is very important, right? Acceptance, because this is when the word call. Now, right above acceptance, there should be a word called trust. And once you get the trust and acceptance, the change is gonna go. So what's in it for them? You have to really define it. You have to tell people why you're doing the change. How's it gonna benefit them? If that conversation not occurring, it's not gonna happen. You have to tell them, this is good for the division, it's good for you. The next thing you have to do, is expand the pot. And this is key. You won't get this in the book. But you have to, once you tell us what you're going to do, I'm even going to give you more. You tell us what you're going to do, you expand the pot. Like for, in my instance, we have a bonus for our champion leaders. They get a bonus, 5% bonus. And then you go up the way, and once you start getting those things you want to change, you have celebration, which is reinforcement. And so I like this analogy. This have when our champion get promoted to a senior BCI inspection. Layla, she's here with us now. Stand up, Layla. She's one of our champions of a water machine. Uh, so she's making this change real live. My, my three people just got promoted all are, are in this uh, champion program. So it's really working for us in the city of Boston. This is great. You can take back to your uh, wherever you work and say, this is how I'm going to do the change. And I'm defining what's in it for them. I'm going to have some acceptance, some people not. You know you've got 100%. Once you get 60 or 70, you can move. I build the trust, and then you go. Next slide, please. These are some of our sector champions, uh, things that they do, doing training, these organizations, develop projects, conduct seminars. One, one thing that we do, we do meet the sectors, like, you know, once a year, twice a quarter. About what their problems are. So you can go talk to them, you talk to the metal finisher, you talk to the crew, what are their problems are. We take them back to the office and see if we can solve them. We promote green business certificates, we have webinars, and we can do this expo. So here's some of the things that you do to train. Identify the driver, understand the term of why change is needed, get your executives on board, frame the issues, and communicate the change. Next slide, please. This is some of our champions. This was our, our car wash, automobile champions. Our automotive champions use a million gallons of water in the day, so it's very important for us that they're going to water, uh, and conserve as much water as possible. This is our, our great metal finishing champion group, and this is somebody that is typically one of our, our, our high performers. So you plan to change, what's in it for them? That's a good change around there, it's a stand change, and you celebrate success. Next slide, please. This is a brand new question I have to ask. Do you describe a change you want to undertake at your organization and what goes in the change plan? So you guys get together, define what you want to change in your organization, and then after that, talk about what, what should you be in your plan to, to, to execute the change. And we'll just talk real briefly. 